managers of Starbean are a bunch of pathetic, overpaid, poorly dressed, greasy haired assholes who feel the overpowers even the stench of the burnt coffee coming out of that hellhole every day. Did Starbean fire you again? Yeah, and this time I don't think they'd be willing to hire me back. Oh god, what'd you do now? Nothing. Okay, I cursed out the manager. Whatever. I mean, it was in front of all the other employees, but who cares? And the regional manager. And I may have thrown coffee in his face afterwards. Derek! It was a nice coffee. It's not like I burned him. Where are you? We need to talk. Still a Starbean. They fired me, but they can't kick me out. Their Wi-Fi is faster than my phone service. I should totally switch to. T-Mobile. Incredible. I don't think anyone else could throw coffee in a manager of an establishment and not get kicked out. Took my apron. I don't think they recognize me without it. The transformation is stunning. You do look quite a bit different though. Yeah, we've already gone over this. All right. So what's up? Like having trouble adjusting to life in public after staying secluded in your apartment, crying over Courtney, king of chlamydia. Why do you always have to joke that my ex has so many STDs? I slept with him too. I'm not saying you gave him chlamydia. Courtney having chlamydia would not make me feel any better. Although if I did find out someone gave him crabs and he had to stay celibate for a month. Wait, you have to stay celibate for a month when you have crabs? Yeah. Why? No reason. <laughs> anyway, I didn't come here to talk about crabs. I need you to do me a favor. If you're gonna ask me to pay you back all the money I owe you right after I got fired, it's not the best time. No. My boss at Gold Navy is giving out bonuses for anyone who refers somebody to go in an interview. Riley, I just got fired from Starbean. I feel like it's too soon to get back out there. I need some me time. This isn't some girl who just dumped you. Isn't it? Isn't it? You don't have to work there. You just have to act like you want to. Sorry, no dice. I get $250 if we do it. I want half. What? Half, 75 bucks or no deal. Half is... Fine, you can have $75. Awesome, when do I start? It's not a job, it's just an interview. It'll take like 10 minutes. But there's prep time. I have to do vocal warm-ups. Probably have to practice my gay speech so I make the right impression. This isn't one of your escort jobs, it's retail. I never escorted. What do you call going to bars with rich people who buy you fancy clothes and pay you to say you're their boyfriend? Retail? Well, then this should be no problem. Oh, I need to borrow one of your outfits. They see me wearing one of my $50 t-shirts, They'll know you're an escort? No, they'll think that I think that I'm too good to work there. Sounds like you want things to go well. What if they actually hire you? Then I'll just have to work my way up and tell them your boss. Yeah, well, that doesn't need to happen. Just go in for an interview, don't act like a douche, and take it at least 40% serious. 15. 33? You can do at least 33%. 25%? There's no deal. Derek, come on, you're being dumb. 25 going once. This is serious, I get money out of this. 25 going twice. Fine, you take it 25% serious, Jiminy Cricket. So old the dark looking queer in the plaid shorts. I didn't call you that right. Queer is fine, just not the F word, right? You can call me whatever you want, but if my boss finds out I sent you in there for the bonus, I'm gonna rip out your nipple and feed it to a crocodile. Jesus, Peter Pan, I get the picture. Here's my boss's email. Send a message as soon as you can. That shouldn't be a problem since you suddenly have so much more free time. Too soon, right? Pain is still so raw. No wonder they keep firing you from this place. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> I'd love to work for you. I'd love to work for you. Sense. Of course I work out. Mm. Welcome oh, to yeah. Gold Navy. Is anybody helping you? I can let you know about our sales if you want. What? No, it's fine. I'm going over my lines. Are you sure? Because we have a really big sale right now. You know, I can get you half off on whatever you want. Girl, you better get moving along. You are ruining my motivation in all the right ways. Derek Capitai? Yes, that's me. That was close.
Status Updates was shot in front of a live studio. Don't on... say shot. Shot makes it sound like... Say something else. Uh, filmed in front of a live... No, there's no film in these cameras. Recorded? That makes it sound like a sex tape. Of which you have plenty of experience. Obviously. Okay, say recorded then. <laughs> this is not a sex tape. Not yet. Well, the episode's over now. Well, there's always next time.